And we are live. Welcome to Three Men and a Vape Show. Thank you very much for joining us this week. I have not fell asleep. I do apologise to everybody for last week. Um, I am here. <laughs> and I'm joined by the wonderful and the one and only Salford Vapor. How are you, brother? You all right? <laughs> Hello, are you speaking, mate? It's all fast off. All fast off. <laughs> Hello to everybody in chat. Thank you very much for joining us today. Oh, wait there, CBW. <laughs> you know what? Where's, where's chat? There's chat. I've so, had some chat up there. I, I'm, I'm taking it. Um, the Devil Vapor has sent everybody over, and everybody's had to put a cheeky bum wank in the actual <laughs> chat. <laughs> Big oh, love to Dino for, for Dean for sending him over, bro. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks, Dean. <laughs> Dean, wow. he's awake this week. He's awake, mate. I'm awake. <laughs> yeah. Oh, mate, when I walk up, and it, I, like I said, I've been up with the kids. They, they've not been very well. And obviously, I walk up and then oh. bang, I've got all these messages. Where are you? Where? Oh, oh shit. Because I got a review that went up at six o'clock. I thought, I'll get up there. I'll spam that out. And then I'll you, just. You review. You, now you again. Review. I, o- I only review, really, you, when X. You're letting, the, you're letting the side down, mate. You're letting the side down, po- popping out the new views. <laughs> we don't do them very often. No, well, like I said, it's on only just before um, before Expo. Well, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us. Um, obviously, uh, if you've not seen any posts on our group or anything, the vlog that I put out as well, which you, I can't believe you could open know what a vlog is, Dave. I was taking the piss. Oh, were you? I actually took it that you yeah. didn't know what a vlog was. <laughs> if I can, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you sounded then. You sound like off the um, the Goon Show, you do. <laughs> Goon Show. So, obviously, if you haven't checked that out and you haven't noticed, um, obviously, uh, Simon, Mr. Coily, who obviously I've casted with him for, forever, yeah. is, um, is taking a little bit of a break. Um, it's all to do with work and fam- family things, and he wants to take a, a break from the show, which uh, me and Dave, I'm sure Dave will say something as well. I just want to say I, I absolutely love Simon. Hopefully he'll be coming back as well. Um, big love, Devil Vapor. Um, we, we think the world of him, and it's, it's not going to be the same without him. Um, I don't know if you want to say it, Dave. Well, we're going to miss him, aren't we? I mean, people are going to miss him in chat for at least his sarcastic fucking comments towards me. But we love each other, really. We, we're good mates. Yeah, he's, he's going to be well missed, and I hope everything gets sorted, his work and everything else that's stressing him out, and, you know, he gets back to us, you know, because he is a big daft old sod. He is, yeah. And we, we do love yeah, him. Yeah, can't get me back, can he, at the moment? <laughs> <laughs> um, it is, as well, it's, it's actually just come up as well for our birthday show. The birthday show is next week. So... Me and Dave sat down and we 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 obviously we didn't want to pack the show in. Uh, we loved doing the show and we sort of wanted to get another caster in. And that's obviously why a lot of people are here today, see who the caster is. Um, we did run a poll and I, I think MBK came first, didn't he? I don't I know. Think, I, I think Hobbs to come second. And I'm a lazy bugger. I'm a lazy bugger. I didn't check it. So, oh, so <laughs> let's. It's, it's not biker. We're all right. It's not biker. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think it is time that we revealed, isn't it? Oh, no, no. Look, look, guys, it's just my twin. I'll tell you, it's just my twin. We've got Telly Savalas on. Yeah. <laughs> um, just before we do that, just again, big shout out to Simon. We're going to miss you. We love you loads. Thank you very much yeah. for all that you've done um, for the channel as well, mate. You're an absolute star. Right then, ladies and gentlemen, it comes to that point. We are going to reveal who the new caster is, and it is... Right. Drum roll. Nice. Who is, who is it? Your views have just gone down. I'm watching them just going. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's going out. You owe me that fiber. You owe me Not that, that fiber. Oh, get lost. <laughs> well, a lot of people said Mobro as well. People would say, so is it Mobro? Another set of people asked me if it were going to be um, Paul McCartney. Maybe Dr. Spo. I'm absolutely overwhelmed we've been on, brother. Welcome to Three Men and a Vape Show. Thank you so much for having me. Actually, it's funny because this was the first show I ever went on. My first live show was with you guys, uh, which was March last year. So, uh, yeah, when you contacted me, I said, do you want to get involved? Absolutely. So thanks thanks for having me on. And, uh, yeah, I I can't promise to um, bring what Simon brings, but 
I think we'll have a laugh, won't we? That's the way, thank God it's not Vic. Can you go the edgeways? Stuart's out. Who are you? Sorry? Who, who are you? Me, I am um, I'm a new reviewer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a new struggling reviewer. I'm a, I'm a new struggling reviewer, yeah, yeah. That's the one. It's cat flap. That's the one. That's where they've heard it. That's it. Yeah, flat pack. Um, I, like, I like this one there uh, uh, from Dean Double Vapor. Flat cap brings sex to the table. I think it does. We did do it so we got a few more women to the table. <laughs> uh, everyone's been thanks everyone in chat really nice yeah i'm actually a bit nervous i'm not gonna lie i'm a bit nervous about it it's weird it's weird but... you, you, you do your show on a saturday which is an absolute corking show as well yeah we love yeah we love the show pad and pad and matt um yeah it's good fun but it's nice to do i would it's it's always nice i didn't feel under pressure because now i host the show and i do all the the bits you do in for this show and i was sitting there doing nothing twiddling my thumbs before the show starts it's lovely well, that is, that is the nicest side of it. I must admit, when I go on the subs, if I'm not doing it, it's nice to just be able to plug in and go in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just well, we are going to have, have a few more sections as well um, in the show. We are still going to cover the news, um, but also we're going to do a little bit more tech, and that's going to be down to uh, Gaz himself. He's stuff that we're reviewing, and we're going to be talking a lot more about vaping stuff. We'll try to. <laughs> <laughs> there's always i mean there's always stuff coming out obviously and the, i don't i don't think a lot of shows actually highlight some of it you might mention it oh there's something coming out from so and so but it'd be good to actually delve into it and have a look and see what see what's going on yeah i, I, I think that's that, that's the way we can continuously talk about over the pond can't we and we could talk about all the bits and bobs. So, so it's going to be nice to get maybe into a little bit. Of I know Dave loves talking about bits of tech and stuff like that. So, yeah, uh, we'll still be covering bits that come out in the news um, and still have the normal giggles that we normally do. So um, shall we? I'll tell you what, for some reason, that's unshared. We're actually going to get straight away onto a, a, a little bit of tech. And, no, in fact, shall we, we'll do a little bit of a buffet. We'll do a little bit of a buffet. We'll start off with Dave. Dave, what are you vaping on, brother? That with me on tobacco as normal. Your VS cube with some melon twisting. Vindicator, Kennedy 25, melon twisting. The Hulk. You just got that, you the Hulk. The Hulk. Hulk, Hulk, Hulk smash. The Hulk. Hulk smash. Which is, uh, if you look at my logo, it's actually the, the mech on my logo. And uh, that's got a Boulevard. And the only other thing I've, I've done is I'm on the see uh, Vinci, the original forty bottle. Reviews just come out for that, aren't it? Yeah, because I'm always about nine months behind everybody else. You know that. <laughs> Where can you find this review? Uh, you can find it on uh, probably you'll find one on Little Bros Channel, one on uh, Black <laughs> Channel. And if you want to watch mine, which is way way after, you'll find it on the Salted Vapor. The technical is more up to date then. <laughs> Because it's the latest, so it's more up to date than our review. I've got yeah. the X. Because my my original Vinci just leaked, so I don't know. Maybe they've made some improvements. I don't know. I don't know. I've got the um, I've got the the RBA and the five ten fitting as the well. The boo boo ones. Yeah, the RBA is all right, but the five ten, load of crap. Absolute load of sh. I won't <laughs> spoil the review. I've yet to can do it, like, but I won't spoil it. <laughs> you know what he's going to be saying. Um, the, the UK Vapor wants to give you a kiss, by the way, for like cap. When if you're going to London, he's going to have to wait because at the minute I'm not available for London Expo, but I'm trying to sort something out. I uh, you know. your lips are not available at the moment. No, they they're busy. They're busy, Rob. They're with these two guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm, we'll move over to flat cap. We're done now. We're done now. Something about lips and ass was going to go then, and I had to stop it quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the Inikin Chroma R. I want that. It's really, really no, nice. No, I mean, I want that one. <laughs> you this one. You yeah, one. It's, a bronze bronze one. it's beautiful. That's a bronze, isn't it? Bronze, yeah. It's really, yeah, no, really nice. So my address is 
<laughs> the show. Yeah, yeah. Well, I haven't finished nice reviewing it. I've got a finish. I've got written to do for it. Um, actually, I'll talk to you about this light tank because you like this light, don't you, Dave? But I'm not a big fan, if I'm honest. I, mean, I, I love it. I love this light. What mm. coil are you using in it mostly, though? Well, it, they're different coils to what comes with the Adept. So you get a 0.8 and you get a 1.2 with, with this kit. Yeah. But even with the, the um, cores I got with the Adept, I, I wasn't the biggest. I mean, it's decent. You get a decent vape, but it's just a bit, I don't know, a bit of a letdown. Oh, no, no. Well, I, I, I must admit, I've not, never really had a, poil, a problem with the coils with, with it and flavour-wise. Um, the only thing I did find is the 0.8 seemed to burn out pretty quick compared to the 1.2. Yeah. You know, you might get a couple of weeks out of the 0.8 where you'll get three to a month out of the 1.2. Hmm. Yeah. The so 0.6, there was a 0.6 that was a Zenith core, and then it, it goes... Yeah, with... I haven't tried the 0.6 or any of the other Z coils with it. Mm. Um, just the ones that come with the, the adept kit, as, as you know, the 0.8 and the 1. Point, is it 1.2 or 1.6? 1. There's 1. a 1.2 and 1.6, but I yeah, think the 1.6 yeah. I'm finding all right, which is just around my build. Mm. You know, but so complain really is just I don't know. Uh, well, else am I on? Um, I'm I'm all because I'm with gentlemen this evening. I'm just mouth to lung in it. So Bob the bomb. Ord Vake Druganoada, absolutely love this little AIO kit. It's awesome. That goes with me every day now. And I'm trying out the RBA deck for the Aegis Boost, right. uh, which is a lot fiddly. If Dean's still in chat, I did have a little sneaky watch of his RBA build, and he made it look really easy, but it's not. <laughs> so, uh, build on some of the old, very old tanks. Yeah. Uh, building on these the small RBAs is, is you know, you've done it before, basically, so you know what to look for. Yeah. Whenever yeah. it comes down to them little tiny fiddly coils, it, you, your hand's shaking when you try. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't help if you've got fingers like sausages either, though, does it? No. <laughs> when, you try and get, when you're trying to get your wick in as well, and you're trying not to pull the actual coil from side to side. <laughs> and yeah. Oh, yeah. And the whole coil just goes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolute nightmare. It's all Anything else? Sorry? Are you on anything else? Uh, no, that's it. I've just got a mixture of the. I, I can't have got. I've got in. I've got some of this Nana's uh, focus. Anyway, some Nana's secrets mango lime and just juices. Where's that bottle gone? Just juices. Berry burst. Ooh, which is lovely. So yeah. it's I remember the release that. Uh, what am I on? I'm. I'm loving this. The Archery eighteen six fifty. I'm loving that. Really nice. I've got the parrot version. Looks quite nice. Um, I've also got the uh, some vampire vapes in that, which is the blood sucker. Um, I've, we're going to get onto this about disposable tanks in, in a little while, which is the Gem Kit twenty five watt with the Gem disposable. They're calling it a pod. I call it a disposable tank. I've then got the Kelpie on top of the Cold Steel one hundred, and in that I have got some um, off the records liquids. This is a strawberry watermelon sour. Not very much left in that. It's quite nice. And just to keep with you, flat cap, uh, just juice. I've got uh, berry, berry burst. Berry burst. On the um, Aegis Swank um, review coming out for this tomorrow. This this is like two in one, a little bit like the um, top side um, light, where you can turn it into just a normal mod, or you can have it in Swank. Um, I'm loving this. This is really good. With the, is it Truga or Tuga? Shoot, yeah. Uh, Tenga? Tenga, that's it. Yeah. Um, what I'm going to do, I think the way I'm going to do the review tomorrow is I'm actually just going to do the device itself and then do the actual RDA the next day afterwards. Just makes it a little bit easier. So, yeah, that's all that I'm on. Right then, let's get on to a little bit of tech news. And show which one do you want to start off with? Do you want to go with the um, disposable tanks or would you like to go for the more the dramatic one? <laughs> dramatic one. It's one that wouldn't be a drama problem if it wasn't for what's happened in between. Yeah. So we were talking about this briefly before the show. Um, I'm sure if most of you know Jay Hayes, is, he's had a bit of a rant recently about a RTA that he's been developing uh, yeah. with Vicious Ant, and then it's all gone pear-shaped, and now it looks like Vicious Ant are bringing out an RTA that is almost identical. I haven't watched all the videos he's put out about it, so, um, but I just thought it was a really interesting RTA, the fact that you can remove the tank but yet you've still got the deck there and you can put so you can swap tanks over i struggled to find images of it though so i've only got 
the one <laughs> which doesn't show you a lot, but should we just share it? Yeah, share it and I'll uh, I'll stick it on. <laughs> It doesn't show a lot. There is a video kicking around, but actually Vicious Ant have taken the video down themselves off of Instagram. So there's something going on there. But Aiden, you said just before the show that you think there's been a couple of artists that done this in the past. I should, I should have written them down. I, I did watch the extra live. Now, it's called the Sicilia, which apparently in Greek actually means bitch. Mm. That's that's what you said as well. I'll, I'll, I'll remove that so we don't watch it. <laughs> So a couple of people in the second video that he did um, said that there'd been a couple of other um, R R um, RTAs where they could actually lock it off and take it back out. But if you did actually watch his video of what he said, he did show a lot of um, stuff where he actually said to him, right, it locks off like this and then you take it out. Now, they took the video down from Instagram as soon as he sort of put his video up. Um, they haven't actually got back in contact with him the last video I, I watched. But the idea of it, I actually quite like. Yeah, it looked pretty smart. I mean, I don't know how much it was going to cost being Vicious Ant, but I ha I hadn't seen it before. I hadn't seen it done any for before. But then I was trying to think, I don't like mixing flavours on the same cotton. So would I really use it? Because, you you know, you could have, I don't know, berry burst in one tank and whatever else or something else, and you're going to be putting them on the same deck. And I thought, well, would I even use that? I don't know. Yeah. But it's an innovation isn't it? So it's another idea. It's something different. See, he, he was sort of like saying it. He got it from uh, the fact of you know, like if when you come into a vape shop, you used to be able to test your juices and stuff like that. So you, what you'd be able to do is take one on, take one off. But like what you're saying, surely it's gonna you mess your flavors up. Cotton. Yeah. At least you vape, you know, I, ten mil of it. I didn't look because obviously the the whole section isn't going to have the um, the deck in it either, is it? It's just going to be the tank. Yeah. Interesting though. Interesting. There was a tank yeah. though that you um what, what it might have been an Inakin tank where you take the coils out and it closes off the juice, so you could effectively do the same thing. I can't remember what that yeah. was now. I can't There's been a that. few that do that where you can pop the coils out and as you pull the coil out, it actually closes closes a mechanism so that the juice can't fall out the bottom of the tank. That was pretty smart. But did, someone said the early equals did the did the same thing. Uh -huh. See, there were EH Pro came out with one called I think it was the Bear. I think it was, and what what the way they did theirs was that you the actual tank was split, so you could have one flavor in one and one flavor in the other. But it didn't quite work. It ended up like leaking out, and I think, I think oh. about three four years ago. But yeah, you've got a really good point there. Again, a couple of expos ago, they came out with um, it came in a thirty mil bottle where you could then put it over your cotton and dry burn it, and it took all the taste away. And clever. That never that never sort of, of um, caught on, but they were giving free bottles away with it. We did try it. I think Mark my bro, so long did a, a review on it. On a bit of PG and VG. Big Bear. What it was. Screw it on and bait it out the cotton. EH Pro Big Bear. They've got a bit more creative with their names over the years, haven't they? <laughs> Some well, of the names. What I was saying about Vicious Ant, though, the... the the name of that Sicilian had already been done by somebody else and also the Apex as well. It's yeah. it, the, another, another bit, obviously, we're talking about this with Jays. It, it is very hard for um, reviewers who come up with ideas um, to get them out there. You've, there's a number, obviously, there's been a lot of controversy about the, um, the Kelpie just coming out about the quality of it now really if when you when you're actually putting your build out to somebody else you're putting what you've designed and what they how they're going to actually do it in their hands are you yeah yeah and i mean i <laughs> it's funny how my brain works sometimes because like you say and it's hard for people to make something completely original now because they'll go oh that post is from this that that airflow is from this and that's you know so it's impossible but why don't someone just come out with i don't know a musical instrument that you can vape on like a fiddle. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Something completely original. What's that? For? It's all right. All of a sudden, I've got potato internet for some reason. See, computers for you. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. No, he's never done that before. You see, we're normally pretty good with that. Sorry, people, if you're uh, getting a little bit of it, it's, 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 it's bits on it. No, Have yeah. you gone to 720? I'm, I'm no, no, still no. by end. Yeah. Maybe yeah, it was a break up, wasn't 
Yeah, a little bit. it could be a little bit to do with, with, with either that or the kids are trying to stream. Um, but yeah, it's, it's very hard if you're putting your design into somebody else's hands to, to get what you want out there, and it's obviously with your name on it. Well, a lot of years, a lot of years ago, there wasn't um, loads and loads of people doing that. It, it came a little bit more over the last so many years, hasn't it, where, where reviewers were doing it. Yeah, but if you're putting your, your design in China's hands anyway, you know, you're lucky if you get anything back from it without the just putting it out there. They're, they've not got any, um, they've got no morals of the other there. They'll just take no, anything. It, well, it's, it's like about the copyright laws and then I'm copying it. But see, in China, if you replicate something and make a copy of it, you know, that's a good thing. That's a compliment to them. Whereas here in, in the uh, Western world, we go, yeah, copyright, copyright. You can't do that. You nick it all our money. Um, Stuart asked, uh, uh, sorry, Aris has said there about, um, I'm sorry, but why would you come up with a design and not register it and email it to China? The problem is, is even if you do actually yeah. register it here, there's no actual copyright laws really over there. Well, you definitely have an international uh, copyright registration, which would cost you an arm and a bleeding leg for a start, probably a lot more money than you'd ever going to make out of it. And China still ignore it anyway. Yeah, I don't I think, think China. That's how you put it on the internet, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> is that, am, I, am I still a potato? I don't know why. Yeah, yeah, it's it's just yours. I don't know why it's just yours. Dave's span around for a little while. Uh, but yeah, ch like I said, China gives no craps at all. I tell you what, it might be me if I if I just go back to that. Ooh. We, Ooh. We're in Debbie does Dallas mode there. <laughs> <laughs> you know that bit that you're sharing try and unshare it uh, you know unshare see if that that does anything see if that is out yeah but like i said china has no copyrights midnight was just saying china has no copyrights on it um which like i said you, you're putting your your yeah. life in your hands especially if you're a small reviewer it's all right for these ones we can go out and tell everybody but now if you're a small reviewer yeah yeah, you're panicking a bit. Yeah, I well, think there's probably quite a few people who have an have an idea or a design idea there. But they don't know what to do with it because, like I say, you don't go over straight away to China with it. You don't know. Yeah. To, you can't. Who can you trust? You know, unless you've got the machinery in your garage. Well, well the, the thing about um, JA is what he'd done though is he'd worked with them for quite a number of years as well, and he'd got a, a working relationship with them. So. It has a little bit more meaning to him as well because he named it after his daughter who passed away, which yeah, yeah. <laughs> not the greatest. It looks pretty blatant, say? doesn't it? Yeah. You know, you can get mo almost all new cars in China named something else, but exactly like something Ford put out. There yeah. is no point in trying to sue China. No, I, I think you're totally right. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what they have. Gaz, your camera has gone shit. Ga Gailey Box, it has for so I don't know what it could, it could be my side. The, the this computer. is what I'm bringing to the show. Low resolution quality. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea why. Any we, were all all right, no we were all right at the beginning. Me and Dave yeah. seem to be all right. Are you on um, Are you on a LAN or are you on uh, wireless? I'm hard wired. I'm wired in. He's, yeah. he's, 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 well, you're fitting in London here, mate, as a new caster because we're not wired up right <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it, mate. I'll sort it out. There's, there's, there's nothing we can do, mate. It's the way it goes. It, it's probably my end. Ele yeah. Electricians, you know, you give them a simple job like putting an Ethernet cable in them. I didn't, what happened. didn't do data. I got missed that day at college. <laughs> 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 yeah, Steve, right, get Mrs. Black Cap off Netflix. Yeah. Ne Netflix and chill. <laughs> <laughs> Just, oh, take off, just take off four and then porn channels you're watching all in one go and be all right. <laughs> I, I, I don't think it, it's probably mine. It's probably my side, if I'm totally honest with you. Um, no, it must just be me. I can jump out and jump back in and see if that works. That's a good idea, that, mate. Go out and then come back in again. Get lost. You've had your you chance. <laughs> So I'd just like to say thank you very much to everybody who has joined us tonight. Um, I'm so glad that we've uh, we've got Gaz on. 
Um, even though it is a bit up and downy, get okay. Mrs. Cat flap off of <laughs> Netflix. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for all joining us. It's going to be a load of fun. This I'm, I'm really going to enjoy it. Um, but yeah, Dave, the the whole thing of this in China and sending your designs out. Have you ever thought about having a design yourself? There we are, back in. Yeah, I've, I've had no no interest. But can I just say, guys, there was seventy nine of you in chat. There's only twenty two thumbs up. Come on, guys, at least thumbs a channel up. You know, yeah. come on, give us some thumbs up. Yeah, show a bit of love. Show a bit of love. Uh, no, I've, I've never I've never been interested in, in actually designing anything and sending anything out anywhere. Have, have you designed anything, Gaz? Um, no, no, I haven't necessarily designed anything, but I do have an idea. But like I say, I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> I don't know who to go to. I wouldn't know who to contact. I wouldn't know who to trust. And is it a good idea? I don't know. You know, I'm still potato apparently. Well. Well, what about uh, speaking to Matt Burns and because he's well in the EH Pro? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I said, it's only something I thought about a few weeks ago. Um, yeah. So I could probably do doing some little sketches with my crayons, you know, and see what I come up with. But I don't know. It is. You mean, uh, you mean the kids have been helping you out again, don't yeah, you? Yeah, they have. Yeah, doing my homework. Cool. <laughs> they come up with a design. Apparently, it's uh, Tony. Yeah. Yeah. He's doing a Tony B. Yeah, get Tony B. Sorry, Irish. Just want to point out, Gaz's internet potato is offensive to my people. So, I'm sorry about that, Irish. <laughs> to, to be honest with you, it could be actually my computer, but we're getting that sorted. So, don't, don't worry about it, mate. We'll get through the show. Um, the other thing that we was going to uh, discuss, I don't think we'll put the picture up. Um, we was going to discuss. Um, Disposable tanks. You've just got is it the GQ? So I've got this um yeah, I've got this Inkin Go S kit. I'll open it up. I did but I spoke about it the other day. Oh, try and put the picture up and it might it, it might actually work. We'll see, see if it will work. Here you go. So it comes with two disposable tanks, which is very similar to like the horizon, the pearl, and there's been a couple of others that have come out, um, which actually has quite good flavour. Um, have you see, can you see that? Yeah, screen? Like yeah. Um, and I, I just find I thought we were done with disposables. I mean, you've got the pods with you know non-removable coils, and then when they're done, you got you got to bin the pods. And I've seen pods just thrown out on the floor, and now you've got tank more and more tanks coming out. This is a, a starter kit now with two tanks in it, and. I thought I thought we were done with disposables. The only one thing I can see is good for me. It slides across the top, doesn't it? Sorry? It slides across the top as well, doesn't it? Yes. There. Um, I thought we were done with disposables. I, I get that it'd be good to have one as a spare, but I was just interested to know what people thought about them. Have they got one that they keep as a spare if their if their tank packs in and you know, or have they well, got a use? Do they like them? If, if I sort of go from where, where I first um, saw it, there were, there were me, Devil Vapor, and quite a number of reviewers. We went down to the London Vape Show for, um, uh, it was uh, Vape Finder. And it was the first time they'd actually brought out the Preco from Horizon Tech. So we got it and we tested it, and it was absolutely cork in flavour. But the biggest thing that obviously was said, what about the environment? Can it be recycled? So when they actually did like the next, um, sort of gen of the Preco. Uh, they brought them out to lung out and and obviously updated the, the Preco itself. When they sent it out to reviewers, they sent a letter out to us as well saying that you can actually put it into your recycle bin. Right. And you can also, if you wanted to, send it back to Horizon Tech and they would actually recycle itself. Now, obviously, I've just done the gem kit. Um, corking flavor, free max to do brilliant tanks, corking flavor off of this as well. Um, but there's nothing that's been said whether you can put it into your recycle bin. Now, yeah. I have a problem if you can actually put it into your recycle bin. If it's if you can do it and recycle it, then there's not a problem in my mind. Um, I've had roughly about five to six weeks. I do this one, the other one I had a bit, a bit longer out of it. It's only five pounds, I think it's five pounds 95 for two of them. That's not bad, is it? You've come That's back lovely now, mate. Have I? It's weird. I've no it's idea why. My side, potato internet. Uh, but yeah, the, 
what what do you think? People in chat, let us know. What do you think about tanks that, that are, are disposable? What do you think, Dave? Me? I think we live in a throwaway society and it needs to stop. We're killing the planet. We really are. With the yeah. shape we're doing. Even if it, it's recyclable, there isn't any need for it, is there? No. Right. It's still going to cost them to produce that. Not much less than it will for a normal tank. That you can use time after time after time you know yeah. it's beyond the joke we're just killing the planet with crap i don't even see how they can say they're like fully i wouldn't want to chuck that in my recycling bin because mm -hmm. who's gonna who's really gonna break that down and take the metal apart take the metal out of it and the plastic and it's not gonna happen yeah. no one's gonna do that the thing the thing is guys that even though we've been made to put the stuff in the recycle bins Still, eighty percent of that's going to landfills. It's not getting recycled, mm. you know. So it's a, it's a big waste of time, isn't it? We're just yeah. filling the, the planet off. That's just another thing to fill up your bin with. Yeah, and it's another thing that won't doesn't get recycled. It gets chucked. To, I didn't notice it until I saw some pods just when I was out working one day. I see some random pods on the floor, and I was just, you know, oh, man, what, what are other people, you know? thinking about this we try and be responsible vapors and then you see pods on the floor and and you know it won't be long before you see disposable tanks like this rolling down the road and and uh, it's not a good image is it well it's bad, it's bad enough that we've got these things all together that you can't do anything with it other than throw away yeah. without the tanks coming out now that you can throw away as well mm. well it was the same when we we went to vape fest me and mark and it was just after the tpd had come in and you could only have 10 mil bottles and the amount of 10 mil bottles that were actually on the floor around Vape Fest, obviously yeah. it's an outdoor event, they were just all loads. Right. Uh, but then again, plastic, plastic 10 mil bottles, all landfill jobbies, right? Why can't we go back to glass and yeah. back to 30 mil bottles and the glass be recycled? Proper yeah. recycling. It'd be interesting to see what happens in the next few months, really, with Brexit and all that, and see if anything does change. I suppose we're last on the list to be looked at uh, with regards to regulations, but... I've, I've said it loads and loads of times. I proper miss, and I don't think the juice tastes as good. It's, this is just my opinion. It's like a bottle I, of Coke, isn't it? Like a bottle of... You can't beat a bottle of Coca-Cola, can you? <laughs> yeah, a bottle of, of Coca-Cola, but I, I were actually thinking more on the juice sort of side. <laughs> yeah. you, 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 couldn't, you couldn't beat... Um, going to buy um, your glass bottle with your dripper in it um, and something that had been steeped with the nick already in it. it, it I, I feel myself that when it's got nick in it, it seems to taste a lot better than when you drop a nick shot in it. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose so, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, 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 I don't think that it'd make any difference to the flavour whether it's in plastic or it's in glass. Because end of day flavors are flavors, and they come in a fucking plastic container anyway to the companies. <coughs> but I, I think I think juices taste different though when they've had nick in them for a while. You, you... Oh yeah, cool, yeah. And once they've oxidized for a bit, yeah, they, they will change. They change the taste a little bit. And I, and I bet a lot of people who watch your show are, are like the normal bit is, is you'll go to your local B&M or whatever you've ordered and then you bang it in there. I know you'll have some people who will leave it for a day, two days, whatever, but majority of people, I would imagine, just bang it in, leave it for half an hour, give it a good old shake and start vaping it. Yeah, I, I just feel that when you used to get them flavours that you knew they'd already steeped it for God knows how long and then they put it into the bottle and it would come to you, it, it sort of had that steep in time. I, personal thing, I thought it tasted a bit better. Yeah, Midnight just said, you remember taking glass bottles to the shop empty and got 10p, 10p back? Yeah, got money back. You should get threatening a bit. I'm showing my fucking age now. Threatening <laughs> a bit. Or tuppence originally. Per I didn't know it had been around that long. <laughs> yeah, you've got to think that the extra, like just, just like Jackie was saying there, um, the, the extra bottles that we're now throwing away with plastic, I would imagine it's like three or four of what these tanks are. Yeah, yeah. You pack it so when you used to get a bit because obviously we're all the ads put all their <laughs> through TPD until the loophole of these um short fields suddenly come in. And I felt so sorry for the companies who actually went and spent the money. Yeah, well, yeah. basically, they went with 10 more bottles and two more tanks because they based it on 2008 where the tanks was at 1.6 and 1.7 mils. You're talking on good cartels and shit. You know, and that is wrong. They should have done it on 
the stuff that had been out a year to two years before you know and that's that's a fucking joke and the joke is of course out of all these 10 mil ones because you've got nick in it it's just more and more rubbish it's more and more i think they also looked at that it was uh 50 51 it pg bg where now it's a lot yeah. higher bg yeah yeah well actually you're about 2008 you're talking on 60 40s aren't you pg so hmm I remember someone saying someone had an idea of like you have you take your empty bottle to a vape shop and they have like in a pub where you've got the vodka and whiskey all in them an optic. the optics and you yeah. just say oh, I want 30 mil of that and they just put your bottle under the optic in there away you go so you just well, wouldn't, that, wouldn't that be wouldn't that be better you actually recycled the bottle yourself haven't you you've cleaned it out you've gone there you've got it filled and and you're away wouldn't yeah. that be better oh well it'd be definitely save on the plastic waste wouldn't it it's got to be another way. There's there's a lot of juices out there though. Some of the optics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. But I would imagine you know, like you can go to a pub and you can actually have like house vodka instead of like having Smirnoff. So if they had their own brands, all these <laughs> in big bottles, and you brought your own bottle back and did it, I suppose that'd work. I want thirty mils of that stuff that looks like Eisenberg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And let's face it, a lot of the actual juices that are coming out now are white label stuff anyway, aren't they? They all taste the same. Yeah, yeah. they're all made at the same place, aren't they? I, I don't think I've tasted a juice in the last year that's really gone, well, I've not tasted that before over the time. Have you that's, had anything? That's not what you said to me last night, you lying yet. Yeah, but his name one day. <laughs> <laughs> If, 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 if either of you taste it, anybody in chat found any juices out there that you're thinking, do you know what, this is like proper, something different and nice? Any of you two? Not really. Not no, really. but I, I still find it, I do still find it quite interesting how you could get three, however many of the same kind of flavours, they're on the same lines, and there is differences. You know, like blue, take blue raspberry slush flavour, it's been done a million times, but there are still good ones and bad ones. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you mean there's some with flavour and some that are very muted? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Very muted. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, chubby juice, the bomb, the bomb. I watched his review on that. Sounds really good. Mm. I think you got you got to go to people like Jay from the Rochford Project. Uh, his juice is like absolutely corking. Um, a, a lot of people now are all jumping on the Black Vine, um, which is a corking juice. Really, really nice. Black um, Vine's been out a while, aren't it now? For him. Yeah. No, I, before, I think I'll be yeah. Like about last year. Before trying then, the, his juice, I hadn't, I just had the, you know, the usual mainstream stuff. And when I tried that stuff, the word gourmet, I was like, yeah, you've actually hit the nail on the head there. They are a, gour a gourmet range. You know, they, they legitimately are. And that kind of opened my eyes. <laughs> Shameless plug, yeah, yeah, they are a decent range. The watch we want all of his stuff. He's he's um, his he's best mate, Dal, who sort of like works for him. Is I've known Dal for, for quite a while and I speak to him at most expos. And he's had like loads of different um versions of Black Vine until he thinks it's right. Then the, the, the sort of you know, you get some juices, and I don't know quite how to explain it. You sort of like get a dense flavor. From a really good juice it's like a dense flavor that you can sort of taste and it sits in your mouth and you think oh that is really nice and then you sort of like get other juices where you think no they're not too good it seems like a watered down sort of flavor does that make sense yeah yeah i always find there's only a couple of illicas i've tried that generally make your mouth water afterwards they're like wow they fill your mouth rather than just you know the, the flavor on the tongue but they're actually you know, you that wow, that is a complete flavour. That's really been worked out, and you know, and uh, yeah, that's definitely weird from the watch. Apparently, he's got three. He's got three more on the way. That's and my lovely wife. She's just had a bit of an operation. A little thing took off her. So, I hope you're feeling better. She's upstairs watching. Love you. Get off the fucking internet. <laughs> 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 just made flat cap ball potato. It's your fault. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Get him off. Get someone else on. <laughs> Vape punks, there's a lot of love for vape punks as well. Vape punks is beautiful from Bobo. Uh, something said about the boulevard as well, Whitlicker, that, that's nice stuff. Yeah. It's very nice stuff. What, what, yeah, they do massive bottles of it, don't they, as well? What's yeah. your thoughts about Nick Salts and Freebase? What, what, what's your sort of take on that? Um, 
Well, I mean, to be honest with you, before I started reviewing, I really had no interest really in mouth to lung. So I hadn't really tried Nick Souls. And it's only it's only really in the last six months that I've tried a lot of salt you know, nicotines. But going going back a while, when I used to buy a lot of um like DIY, like the you know, the one bottle shots, you know, 250 mil bottle shots. And then drip hack started doing Nick Salts rather than the free base stuff. And I did notice a difference. I did notice a lot smoother. I mean, you uh, know, as well that the, the, the flavors are a little bit better with uh, salt mix than it is with free base. It's just that little bit stronger. Yeah, I think you, know, you lose a bit of the harshness, don't you? I find for yeah. free base, and then, and then it's yeah, it's kind of mellowed out a bit. It um, makes you dry it though, doesn't it? Yeah, especially I, I, try, I try and avoid 20 milligram because it's just uh, yeah, just yeah. dries. Kill it, isn't it? Yeah, what do we do to you, Jazz? Sorry. What does it do to you? Give you the coughing fit? I, I sneeze. Sneeze, yeah. A lot of people sneeze. A lot of people cough with it. I can't take 20 milligram. It has to be 10. Yeah, well, 10. I'm coughing my guts up. I don't yeah. mind it at all. I, I only take that if I'm going to work. Or if it's in the morning when I'm starting. I love a 20 milligram Nick Salt. <laughs> Especially the vampire vape stuff. I, I proper love vampire vape stuff. I'm one of these who like the Palmer Violets where everybody absolutely hated it. I love oh. <laughs> I've not tried it, and I look, I look palm of violets themselves. Oh, mate, get get some of that vampire vapes, palm of violets. Absolutely love it. And another one, my, my favourite flavour, and it's the first review I ever did, was Bolt by Moku Yatsu. It's a Californian company, and it was a, a spearmint. And I can't find it anywhere. The shop used to stock loads of it. I used to, that's what, I could do 30 mil of that in a day, and it was just absolutely gorgeous. And I'll tell you what I had it on. I had it on an iSub and a Cool Fire. I don't think it was a Cool Fire 4. I think it was a Cool Fire 3, maybe. I don't, I'm not quite sure. I, probably 30. It made the Cool Fire 3. So it must have been a Cool Fire 4. So it'd be, it would have been 35 watts. 40 watts, that, wasn't it? Yeah, the original, yeah. Yeah, the original one, and then it's 40 like watts. That's like um the, the very wonderful Pud Puffs was telling me he quit smoking or vaping on this this apple pie flavor he was getting from a friend and he's pretty sure it was mixed up in a bathtub <laughs> but he said it works it worked for him it's funny you, you, you get obviously when you start getting into the reviewing bit and casting and stuff you're trying lots of different liquids all the time i'm trying stuff all the time different stuff so you, you don't really have um something that you go back to all the time i really wish i've, I've been if anybody can actually recommend in chat a really nice spearmint. I'd be really grateful. But you can't get it. I've even tried to get it in the UK, and they're all out of, of stock from it. They were, a, like I said, a California. And they did um, a gummy bear one, and they also did another one called Cuties, which was an orange. Um, and that, that were really nice as well. No fancy making one up of your own? I was going to say, speak to the Juice Cabin guys. or Well, well I'll tell you what I did speak to was... Um... Cause I, I, do, I do my own. I do a multi-mint and a spearmint in it, as well as peppermint, as well as menthol. menthol. I'm, I'm actually quite a, a, a big menthol fan as well. Are you too? Or? Not really, no. No. But that, that uh, film, film one or whatever it's called, that they haven't told me the date whether they're going to release it, that, that one, the menthol in that, it makes it taste like a consulate cigarette. It's really nice. <laughs> Thanks, Swag. I love it. I love a word with him. Yeah, the only real menthol like is the one, the raspberry ice that comes with the hexa, the little hexapods. Um, well, they're, yeah. they're feel, feel, um, the film, 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 hybrid Nick. <laughs> I, I, I quite like the um, Alexa juice. Is it Alexa? Mm. Alexa, vape Alexa. me. Shh, don't say it too loud. <laughs> yeah, I was just waiting for Mike to go off as well. Alexa, turn on all the lights. Talking to. <laughs> See you later, bye, bye. Night, Bob. Night, Bob. <laughs> I've had enough of that flat cup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, yeah, I do. I really, I, I like a good menthol. You can't beat a good menthol. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes I find though it's that first hit of the day on menthol, and it's like, oh, it takes you, takes your throat away. But then it's funny with menthol. Isn't it? Some are just too overpowering, aren't they? Mm. They, they punch it in the back of the throat, and then kick yeah. your head in afterwards. I had some of that Doctor Salts, and I, I thought I'd used it all, and then there were I found another ten mil bottle. I like getting. <laughs> the one person in chat to ask about anything with menthol is Devil himself. He loves his menthols, doesn't he? Doesn't he? Yeah. 
Well, have you ever tried them them menthol based nick sh nick shots? So that again, okay. where you get you get like the twenty milligram, uh, ten mil nick shots, and you put them into your your juices instead oh. of a standard, you know, nick based. They they actually they're not too bad. Yeah, I've not they're tried them. I've had the fizz free based ones and what I've got, and not not had them. Uh, double vapor, yeah, I've, I've actually had some of it. It's called is it called Phil Mint? Short filming, yeah. I've um, I've got some of that up there. I think that was a to me that tastes a little bit more like a Murray mint, or not so much more of a you know like a Wrigley spearmint gum sort of spearmint. Mm. Um, I used to call it spearmint. Spearmint. I've had like a garden mint. That was nice. Garden mint was good. What did I have that on? It was a garden mint pair. I tell you what it was. It was. I um, I just need to ask Gaz, are you sure it was a, it was a garden mint? Yeah, it would have got. I don't know, I it coming uh, up. <laughs> Dodo juice, Dodo juice did a um, a mint pear and something that was really really nice. Yeah, I can't remember what it was. That was quite good. Yeah, it's back to there's, just, there's so much choice out there. You can never find what you want. Mm. Yeah, and there's nothing worse than going to a vape shop, seeing something that sounds amazing, and then buying it, taking it back, and it's awful. Oh, yeah, you can't really test that. it. <laughs> you did do it. You know, you're on about um, doing the the fill up in the shop if you took your own bottles back. They did do a thing where people, if obviously, <laughs> if, if, if you if you were uh, if you tried yeah, yeah. if you tried a juice and um, you didn't like it, you could take it in and and. And just leave it there for somebody else to take. I know that's a little bit dodgy, really, isn't it? Because mm. once it's open, then it's, you know, can be contaminated, can't it? See, that's what our shop used to do. They used to let you smell them. They'd open them up and let you smell them, or do a taste test. And I'm thinking, well, where do they then put that bottle? Yeah, good. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, nowadays, we're going to be more careful than uh, than you could do years ago. You trust people well, nowadays; they could put out in it. Well, yeah, yeah scary uh just going on a little bit more on the tech sort of side of it um rdas have you ever had it where you've cut your legs properly on your coil you've then put it in and i've tried so many different coils on this it's, it's an old tank i'll show you in a second and you put your coils in everything's all nicely done but just one side is glowing more than the other side have you ever had it yeah, but it usually ends up to be one of the one of the post screws is loose. Yeah, that's what I usually find. Where is yeah. it? Where I put it? Yeah, I wanted to go a bit retro, and it's the um, really old. It's the EH Pro T, and uh, the of the airflow that's in it. So uh, I've tried. I've, I've tightened everything up. I've took the grub screws out. I've re-put them back in exactly like that, and it's just. It's a bit. Have you cleaned it all out? Yeah, Did the negative pods come up as well. Or is it a milled in bomb? Milled in, let me just show you this. I'm going to get all technical with you in a minute then. See, it could be something that, that oops, there we go. Ooh. Let's get that in there. So What's one wheel's going? There we go. Can, can we see that? Hmm. So it's just the one coil glowing? Yeah, as you can see on the, this this one on this side, the other one there is still like in rainbow. Scraped it, but I, I, I've used uh, and these are uh, Nature Vapes coils, by the way. Um, I, I've tried it with so many different coils. Like I said, I've changed all the grub screws. I've uh, made sure five turns connected. I've give it a good old wobble. Nothing's wobbling or anything like that. Yeah, so the leg's still in there. It's not clipped the leg at all and cuts it. No legs in there, and, and like I did say, I had, I have um, tried so many different builds on it. You know, like I thought, well, it must be just me. <laughs> Pasty just said, "If you turned it off and on again, <laughs> I, I did it. Honestly, I did it on and off yeah. again, and I also wore a silver hat. <laughs> but yeah, I put it on and off again. Anybody yeah. else? Well, I mean, if your if your coils are as even even as you can get them, they're both going into the same post, aren't they? So there should be no difference in resistance really between the coils so it shouldn't it shouldn't be yeah so there must be i don't know if there's anything i, I just thought that's anybody else found anything like that is it the passage rda no it's not no it's the um it's a, a very old one it got sent paul mccartney sent it one of my first sort of like um 
hardware reviews, and it is the the T from um, EH Pro. Like, so I'm not quite sure if if there's anything else. I didn't know, and I thought I'll just I'll, I'll take that out for a little bit of retro, but no. Strange, isn't it? If anybody does know anything like that, please leave it down in the comments and do let me know. Also, um, just a little bit of a plug, while, while, while you might have seen my reviews, I started doing jokes at the beginning of my reviews, so please leave any jokes you've got, any one-liners down in the comments on this so I can use them. I've got a good one. I'll send you it. Send me it. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a shout-out on video. Why are you wearing that hat, though? Why are you wearing that hat, the horsey hat? I like that. It's... Well, that, that was the Kelpie, wasn't it? No, I thought, I thought that was your new hat. Yeah, that should wear it all the time. It's <laughs> actually it. It's me, me little and she loves um, unicorns. Oh, yeah. yeah. So what I thought was, I thought, well, what I'll do is, is I'll wear that. Well, well, have you been being a unicorn? The unicorn have said that a lot of times. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of times to me. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. It, must be it must be something. Problem. Going back to that coil problem. Take the other coil out, the one that's blowing all night. Put that the one that's not, back in and screw it up and just do the single coil and see whether it, it comes across. Yeah, not bad at yeah, it. Turn it, it around as well to, to the other side. No, just do the one coil, the one that's not finding properly. There could be a break in the coil somewhere that's so small you just can't see it. Yeah, so, yeah. 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 yeah but, but, but I've, I've tried different coils in it. I've, I've tried oh, doing it with, with loads. I've done it with different coils. Probably over the last year, I've 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 thought, oh, I'll drag that back out. I quite fancy using that, you know, something a little bit retro. Um, night, daily box. So, do you think I'm trying to tell you something? Yeah, don't use it. Yeah. Put it in the bit. <laughs> that is strange though, because they're both connected into the same terminals, the same yeah. post, the same screws. There should be no different. Yeah, they're they're on the same post, but they have their own separate um, holes. Ah, it still could be down to a grub screw then. Yeah, what, what I'll do is I'll try another, take another grub screw out of it. But yeah, it's just proper uh, annoying. You got a little, um, a, a little electrical tester, a little meter. A little... No, I'm, I know a mate who's got one. Yeah, he's actually going there. <laughs> we're getting well, really what we'll do is, is when um, Mark Solo comes down I'll probably give it to him and see if he can put a build in and make it work he'll probably go da look I've done it I've sorted yeah. it I'll, I'll see if the <laughs> rope has got it um, yeah. just another thing as well I wanted to, to touch on if we can apart from flat caps tits um, is <laughs> <laughs> is the the expos does anybody think they might um, be cancelled Oh, because of the whole virus in, yeah. Yeah, the virus is in China. Now, obviously, the London Vape Show, as far as we, we're concerned, is still going off. Um, I'm going down there on the Saturday, meeting up with the Ryan's Bracers. I just can't wait to see him. It's been a while, and we're, we're going around, around the expo. Uh, but what do we think? Do you think it's going to affect stuff? Well, I did catch a bit of Dean's, and he said that he'd heard through the grapevine that there are some there are some manufacturers and companies that have been pulling out of London's X. I don't know how true that is. It's just what I've heard from yeah. Dean, and he said, "Don't spread this rumor." But I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks, Dean. <laughs> stolen Bad people. Yeah, but uh, well, it's because I was talking to um, guys on the Saturday show about this last week, and we we're saying obviously a lot of these uh, manufacturers have like a team that obviously go around the expos, and they'll do Spain, Germany, and then they end up in the UK, and they'll just go around and. Uh, who knows where they are whether they've been home for chinese new year or whether they I, I don't know so it's yeah I mean, it's pretty scary it's pretty scary it's there could be a few companies not there i suppose well the, this, all, all i know is that the three students who live near me that are chinese have not come back yet uh, yeah devil said he ate it on the grave well uh, to be honest with you, he's, he's not the only one i don't think it's it, it, a lot of people have uh, heard exactly the same I've, the thing is, I've booked my ticket. I'm, I'm going down whether I just spend the day walking around London with Orion's bra braces. I don't mind. Me and Alan have a, a good old wander around. But, yeah, it's something to think about because you're going to think that's a massive show in May. And like you said, they go to, say, Spain. They'll go here, they'll go there, and then they go on to the next one. They get all the stuff shipped over. Hmm. It all depends what happens in the next couple of months because there's actually people going around on a ship at the minute, aren't they, where they, they can't get off. They've had somebody who's died on it. Wow, okay. 
Uh, I know um, I know a lot of the Chinese websites have put like warnings up on the top of their page saying, you know, because of the everything that's going on, they're short staffed and they won't be coming back to it later. So the, the, the they're already yeah. delays, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. they the spring break, break for them, didn't they? So yeah, I know so, some of the UK distributors, the big distributors, have put warnings up as well, saying this is going to affect our supply levels and that. So uh, yeah. big knock-on effect, I think. Yeah, the, the, the yeah. What about um, bricks and mortars as well? You know, trying to get the coils if they're not coming back because they've actually like sort of sectioned cities off, aren't they, and, and provinces and yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you say they built a, a thousand-bed hospital in about ten days? They're just amazing over there. Can you remember when they had all the um, the earthquakes and stuff like that? That like a full intersection collapsed, and within like so many weeks, it would back up again. Yeah, yeah. there bridges over there as well. If it had been here in the UK, oh, two years. years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, nobody crazy. wants to do nights because the way it works over here is they put a tender in for it. One company gets it, and then they just move it down till it comes down. There's no money left in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that that's the that's the way it goes mm. but yeah it's, it's something we've got to think about because it costs you you know all of us uh, i know dave you're not not really been to one but the it costs you a lot of money mm. to to get your hotel your travel and then when you're there something to eat blah 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 it costs you a bit of money to get to these these expos and if people have already booked the hotels and paid for it yeah it adds up I'm I'm sure it'll still be a good event, even if there are if there are limited you know manufacturers there. Obviously, you're gonna have still gonna have a load of the you know juice companies there, but it's the whole seeing other people that's the, what I really enjoyed about the expos. That, that's what they're all about. Yeah, they're, they're, they've actually uh, uh, Dean will tell me they, they've actually said that that vape jams on in the April. Oh, it is on. Well, I, I saw saw it on social media that it's on in April. But I can't see how that's going to work because the last one we all went to was just terrible. The last one, in particular, I remember you saying about that. Yeah, yeah. Well, Dean's been invited to the Hall of Vape this year. God, dear mm. Dean. Well, me and Paul McCartney had a look over there. I think it's one hundred and fifty pound for the flight over, um, and then you're talking at least another hundred and fifty quid. So it's a hell of a lot of money, isn't it? Mm. I think it's so many weeks after Expo. I would love to go though. Yeah. Yeah. Can you speak much German? Decken she Deutsch. Decken she Deutsch. Nine. Nine, that's all you need, yeah, nine. Nine. I don't want, as, long as, you, as long as I can order a beer, I don't really give a shit. <laughs> 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 I see yeah. you, CJ. CJ. So, what's coming up on the channel this week, guys? Um, I've been busy with a lot of written reviews of late, so... Um, yeah, I've kind of been cracking with them. So it'll be a couple of juice reviews. I'm hoping to get out the Chrome R review um, along with. That? Sorry? Is that 21700? No, it's a single 18650, but it's just, it is just a very pretty mod. And it's I, really, I really think it's the best, best looking Chrome I'd have done. I think it's stunning. I do think it's stunning. And even like the fire button is actually within this section, it's at the top there. It's, it's a really, really nice single battery mod. Really, really nice. That's got a screen on it as well. Yeah, yeah. That's so, yeah, that, yeah, but that's that's probably me for the week. I've got to do some writtens and get them finished off. So um, I'll be busy on my keyboard this week. Yeah. Dave, what have we got coming out, brother? Do I even review? Do I? Do I even do review? review? <laughs> um, I've, I've got to do the, uh, the bagging bin Nova kit. That I've been putting off for months, so that'll be coming out this week. And I've got a couple of juice reviews, and I want to do some more of the net tobacco ones that I've started from the juice cabin. So I've got to kick my ass in the gear and start doing some stuff. Them uh, net tobaccos, obviously, I went down because he did my juice, uh, the yo 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 juice. Uh, I, went, I went down with Paul. Would that be the baked bean juice? I'm still waiting for bean juice. Yes, it's the baked bean juice. <laughs> Uh, I went down and actually watched how he did it, and he showed me all the tobacco leaves. It's just amazing how how he how he works, and he soaks it in the in the PG, and then how he takes it all out. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. The, the amount, I didn't know that um, you have you know like in cigars and and so you have filler leaves, and then you have the outer leaves, and yeah. Yeah. totally different than what you'd think it'd be. You thought it was just tobacco, you stuck it in there, you got. <laughs> 
He grabs a goal in Virginia, just so, so, <laughs> but it's, it's, so it's, it's, it's a backup plan, isn't there? So, you know, yeah, there's different leagues, different plans. it out. <laughs> Got like 60 Filipino women at the back running about, ah, standing on it all in buckets with pink <laughs> Can we now stop, please, Les? No, keep boshing it. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it's good how he does his sections. Anything else? No, that's it for me for now. I've got the, um, the Aegis Swamp coming out. Um, like I said, it's a little bit like the the light. Um, what else have I got? I've got a couple oh, of months coming out. I've got to get this. Um, it's been here since Christmas, and I should have got this out earlier. The Steampunk, that's coming out, the Tesla. Um, and I've got a couple of Vaptio stuff again that should have come out a bit earlier. I'm going to get that out this week, and a couple of juice reviews. No. So, all in all, we've got quite a lot coming out. So, uh, where next... there's an expo coming up, of course, you know, yeah, that's that's all you ever see me two weeks before, two weeks after. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have three months off and then come back again. Yeah, where it runs, brilliant. Um, next week, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have a little bit more tech stuff. Uh, it'll be a little bit more structured. Um, I just want to welcome Gaz, our new caster. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a giggle. I'll sort my potato internet out next week. It's my potato, I think. It must be. It must be. I, I need to wait another month, and then I can get some really decent fibre, but I've got a contract to finish first, and the missus said no. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to be going down to Virgin. No, we, we, they've, they've put in Milton Keynes is a flagship city. They've been putting full fiber to every house. Um, so I can get, I can get up to 900 meg. Um, and they bring fiber actually into your house. So we do have a fiber line at the minute, but it's not into your house. So I'll only get 40 meg. But um, yeah, I've still got to wait. She won't let me do it early. Well, we've, we've got the, uh, the Virgin um, in here, but I'm, I'm, we actually talked to, not the greatest of companies, but I, I was going to leave them and I was going to go to Vodafone. Now, I was paying £32 a month, and that was um, with your, all your unlimited calls, uh, your broadband, which was the fibre, and I, I paid for a boost as well, which gave me 80 down and 20 up. So I said I'm going to leave them, rung them back up again. They went, right, we'll do you a deal for 17 99 exactly everything the same for a year, 17 99 So I don't think I'm going to be moving. No, <laughs> so yeah. All that, plus a telly. That's not too bad. Yeah, you know, Right. Try and have a bit of a moan at them and see. If... Yeah, well, I'm paying silly money on BT at the minute. See, whereas the Vodafone 900, 900 up, I think it's pretty much the same. Nine hundred up and down, got twenty six well, quid. I, I sort of went yeah, away from um, Vodafone because if, um, if you have a, um, a look on the reviews, they're saying that there's nothing but trouble. But I don't know if that'll be the same on on fiber. So have a look at the reviews because they were saying, look, it don't work. <laughs> Now mm. it's dropping in, and oh, okay. Yeah. See, I, I'm on one you've probably never heard of called Hyperoptic. And, uh, yeah, Hyperoptic, yeah, they're only in certain areas. That sounds like some sort of disease. Mine's un 168 up, 167 down. Jesus, whoa, that's like, that's like, like I said, it's like something you'd hear at school, isn't it? It's all right, I can get a full Hyperoptic. I thought it's more if I want. <laughs> My son's just found out he's got to have glasses, so I might call his glasses the hyper optics. Yeah, he love, love that. <laughs> the hyper optics. <laughs> hyper optics. Well, it's come to that witchy now, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for joining us. I'll send it off before we leave. We are going to have Salford's quote of the week. What is it, brother? Well, it's one for Simon, really. And he says, True friends don't say goodbye, they just take extended leave. Uh, of uh, an extended leave of absence, basically. Oh, it's, it's one for Simon. Would you like to say your goodbyes? Goodbye. <laughs> no, guys, um, without you in chat, we don't have a show, and it's lovely to welcome Gaz on the show, of course. Although I'm, I definitely want to pinch that leading chrome off him. <laughs> I have my best friend. I do it. So. <laughs> I'm glad Gaz is on the show now. Come on. <laughs> Give me a try. You want know me to do. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, but I couldn't massively miss Simon, of course. Gaz is such a nice lad. And, and as I said, he was on very early on, I think, first, first his first live. Uh, and we all got along really well, and that's good. And, of course, we've got, yo, 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 little bro who still hasn't sent me the fucking juice. 
but you know that, what, what can you expect from somebody who falls asleep all the time <laughs> yeah. well, that, was that was good last week <laughs> we'll pass it over to the wonderful flat cap well thanks very much everyone for the lovely warm welcome um yeah, it's weird being on with you guys again, considering, in fact, it wouldn't have been for Simon. I wouldn't have been here in the first place this time last year, it wasn't for Simon inviting me onto the show. So a lot of love for Simon. And uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, you, you three guys have always done a wonderful show. So I just hope I can kind of live up to what you guys done and, and put my little bit into it as well. So yeah, thanks so much. And I'm looking forward to the future of you guys. Big Believe shout out to everybody in chat. You make this show. Thank you very much for joining us today. A big shout out to all the spanners for being there. You are a bunch of stars. Another big love to uh, Simon. We miss you, bro. Big loads of love. But Flat Cap, so glad to have you here. We're going to be in a little bit of a, a party mood next week. It is the actual birthday of the show. So we're going to have like a bit of a party next week. Maybe a couple of beers, a bit of a giggle. <laughs> Here's the birthday show. It's a little more change for you then. It's so different, is it? It's just going to be an all <laughs> week. <laughs> week out. We're still getting the CBWs as well. Thanks a lot for that. I <laughs> really do appreciate it. Gaz, so happy that you're here. Um, and it'll be a little bit different again next week. Um, also, don't forget on Friday, Salford has got a show at eight o'clock this time. Um, yeah, move to it. Over there and check them out. Also, make sure you go out on Saturday and join the lads on the, um, I wouldn't say Saturday night takeaway then, but it is. It's the vape. Do. <laughs> Saturday night vapeway, yeah. There's a lot. Saturday's a very busy night. There's a lot of shows on there on Saturday nights. But yeah, if you oh, are. We're going over to your one. That's what they're doing. They're going to your one. Yeah, come in Saturday. Come join them. Big love to everybody. And I will catch you later, people. Yo, yo, yo. Good night. And broadcast.